start with our very first honoree of the Her Company Incorporated Man of Honor Award. This is Sam Hines, and Sam and I have known each other for many, many years um, in his most recent role as supporter of women in business. He is the chair of our board of directors. So welcome, Sam. I'm Thank so you. happy to interview you and to present the very first Man of Honor Award to you. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you. So um, the characteristics of a, of a Man of Honor are that um, they're a supporter of women's business development, they're an advocate of equality and pay and access for women in business, and also a champion of women in business. So Sam, tell us, what does it mean to you to be the chair of Her Company Incorporated? It means a great deal for me. Uh, the, because the reason why I'm so excited is because in my family there are several women who are entrepreneurs, all the way from um, the, the, the person whom I admire a lot, my cousin, uh, left a great job at Coke to start her own consulting business and she's doing quite well as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So I'm really a big proponent of women-owned businesses and I'm just excited to be a part of this whole organization. That's great. Great. And who is your favorite female role model and why? My favorite female, there are so many, but the one person that comes to mind the most was my grandmother. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother uh, taught school in Mississippi for 50 years, but she was also um, a Watkins lady. She sold Watkins products, mm -hmm. and she sold Watkins products for over 60 years, she would go door to door in rural Mississippi selling her products, and she did quite well. As a matter of fact, she outlived uh, three husbands. She had a, a multi, multi hundred acre farm in Madison, Mississippi, and she was always my favorite. Beautiful. And what are the strengths of women business owners that you admire the most? One of the things that I think really stands out for me is that. A lot of women don't see a lot that they haven't seen before because the same kinds of challenges and aspirations that they have, either with their families or themselves, you know, really happens in, in, in their companies. So in terms of how to deal with people, uh, any mother out there could be an entrepreneur because they get a lot of experience dealing with difficult issues, whether it's children, husbands, you know, uh, the like. And so. I think it prepares them really to, to be successful. The other thing too is that you find that women usually are a lot more disciplined than men when it comes to business. Uh, they believe in planning and they believe and they have a lot of patience, which probably they have honed over the years, either through their families or to their uh, husbands or children. So I think they have a lot of the intrinsic qualities that it takes to be successful in a business. Great, thank you. And any words of wisdom you can offer to women in business? Uh, don't give up. Mm -hmm. uh, go for what you want. Uh, be diligent about it. And also, unlike men, just continue not being afraid to ask. Uh, ask questions, you know, uh, seek uh, good relationships, uh, people you can count on, and have yourself a good circle of advisors around you that you can go to for any kinds of questions. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much, um, and thanks for, for being our very first honoree. You've set the bar very high, um, and uh, we're so grateful for thank all you. of your, your support. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>